Okay. Hello guys, Emma here, and today I'm back with another video. You may be asking yourself, but Emma, it's just you. Where's Sophie? Well, do I have an answer? At the beginning of the channel, we explained that we would do some separate videos and some videos together. Mostly we're doing our videos together, but every once in a while we'll do videos separately when it's a really busy time in our life and we can't get together. But the logistics are explained. Let me explain what the video is going to be about. She cute. So the topic for this video today is going to be my top 10 favorite books. Yeah! I have the list right here. It's not written very pretty. I'm not going to show it to you and just you're just gonna have to watch to find out my top 10 favorite books. So before I review every book, I'm going to give them a rating of the movie rating. So G, PG, PG-13 or R-rated. And I'm also going to be giving it a rating. I'm just going to tell you my top 10 and then we are going to discuss them and why they are my top 10 and why are they my favorite. My all-time favorite book is, drumroll please, Akawar, A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Maas. So I, I gave this book a 10 out of 10 because it's my baby and I love it. This book is definitely not PG or PG-13. It's, it's considered a young adult, but there's a lot of love in it, which means there's a lot of love in it. If you get what I'm saying, there's a lot of love in it. It should be new adult. So I would give this like a PG-13 slash R rating because like it's written very beautifully and it's not like gross or anything or too explicit or anything. It's just, well, because Sarah J. Mass, she's a beautiful writer. In case you guys haven't noticed, I really love Sarah J. Mass. It's based on your discretion on which age you would like to read it. Um, I say this is like a 16 or older book. You can be 15. As long as you're in high school, you're chill with reading this one. This is my all-time favorite book. I just read it like three weeks ago. So I know I'm behind on the game. You don't have to judge me for it. A lot of people like Sort of Mist and Fury. And I do love that book and it is on my top 10. Oh, oh, I forgot. With each book, if you do not want to hear spoilers about the book, when I pop it up like this, skip it. Yeah. <laughs> to a court of wings and ruin. Feyre is finally like settled and not necessarily over her PTSD, but she accepted her mating bond with Rice and all just like, yes, there's war raging and everything, but the relationship between the inner circle and Feyre and Rice and is like, oh, best thing ever. When, 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 Cassian is like out there and he's like, I got swords, this is why I'm a warrior. Oh, Cassian, you go, man, you go. In that moment, I fell in love with Cassian. I was already in love with him, let's be real. In Akabas, you don't even see any of that. Uh, oh, I can't say, I can't spoil it, I can't spoil it. I can't spoil it, not one. But anyway, this is my favorite one because like, this is when all the action picks up and I like, like Sarah J Mass said in, a, in an interview that she likes like the, the animal attraction. <laughs> and I kind of like that too and there's a lot in this one. Next book. Do you guys see my Sarah J Mass shine? So my next book, I don't want you guys to judge me, but I haven't finished the Throne of Glass series because I just started it. I just finished the third one, and so I don't want any judgments from the other side of the camera because that's rude. My second pick is Air of Fire by Sarah J Maas again, in case you guys can't tell. I love Sarah J Maas. I give this book 8 out of 10 because I haven't read the rest of the series, and this is the book where it just starts to pick off, and you're like, oh my god. What just happened? And you're like falling in love with Rowan. The Harker, Rowan, and Shipper. Her and Rowan have like some deep rooted bond. And I think it's going to end up being a mating bond because they could, what is it called? The Kal. Kal. Karanum. Karanum. That word. As you guys can't tell by my fangirling, this series, is, I'm going to end up loving it because I already started to love it. And did I mention before that I liked Sergi Mass? Okay, the next book. If you guys can't guess, it's a Sarah J. Mass book. A Court of Mist and Fury. I should be crossing these off as I go so that I don't like lose my place. So the rating I give this book is a 9.5 out of 10. Probably a 10 out of 10 or an 11 out of 10 because they're amazing. This one is definitely rated on that same borderline one as the other one. It's like the your discretion. If you are watching this video and you are under the age of 15, do not read this book yet. A lot of people like this book more than Aka War. It's not as like a, oh I'm happy that I love this book so much as it is, 
Ag Award. Anyway, that was A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas, and that is my third favourite book ever. The next book I'm going to be showing you is The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. Everything about this book is a 10 out of 10. This book is definitely for kids. My little brother who is 9 is reading it right now. But I love this book because it is the last time we see Percy until the Heroes of Olympus. This used to be my favorite series until I read Akatar. So good. I could just read this whole book and react to every sentence. All I'm going to say is I love Persassi. Can you guys guess what my next one will be? What? Who? Oh, what is that? What are you doing? Oh. This ends with like the biggest cliffhanger ever and I loved that and I loved that he trolled us and did it like that. Oh, in case anyone doesn't know, this is the second Percy Jackson series. This is the Heroes of Olympus series. I give this book a 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. This book was just so good. I don't even know. I love the sass. I love how it's still lighthearted even though like the world's falling apart from dirt phase. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to explain it anymore than I love this book. A lot of this video is just going to be me going, oh my god, I can't explain why, but like, I love this book. My sixth favorite book is by another popular author, which you all should know, J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, and the Order of the Phoenix. I know a lot of people don't like this book because they say it's too long and it's boring, but I love it because it's just depressed Harry roaming around the castle and he's like, guys, no one will listen to me. No one will pay attention to me. I'm just alone here. Umbridge won't teach me dark arts, so I'm gonna die anyway. Dumbledore's just a prick. I hate him in this one. I'd give this book about a 9 out of 10. There's just so much. I could spend a whole video talking about this book because there's so much content. There's so many things I hate about Snape and Dumbledore. I can't. Oh, I just stabbed myself in the face. Okay. Yes, anyway, Order of Phoenix, Harry Potter, book number five. Go give it a read. Don't read them out of order though because that's lame and you're lame if you do that, so. Okay, my next favorite book I don't have with me. It's at Sophie's house. It's A Dark Shade of Magic by V. Schwab. I have the other two books. This is the box set. And it came with this cool map. It's all for London. I loved the first book. I would give this book nine out of 10. This is a PG, kind of PG-13. It's about blood magic. Don't read this if you are of the faint of heart. I love Lila. They make her like I don't want to wear dresses. I'm going to wear whatever I want. I don't care if they're boy clothes. Lila is a, like a great representation of girl power. That was A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The next book. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I give this a 10 out of 10. I remember reading this in one day. I was like, oh my gosh, mom, this is so good. I remember walking on the porch with it and just being like, mom, like everything. My camera freaking out on me a little bit there. Okay, so my last two books, um, they're not in a particular order. I can't really, they're kind of like both tied for ninth and 10th place. They are Perks of Being a Wildflower, The Color Purple by Alice Walker. This book is definitely a PG-13 read because I think it's a must read by all women. You have to give this a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's 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 amazing. It's just, it's a classic. Like, it's, it's so good. This is the second one I'm going to be reviewing. I actually got this from a friend. In case you can't see, it's bookmarked like crazy. This book both helped us through a really, really bad time. It's just, it's just really good. I loved it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this has been a longer video, but thanks for sticking through with me. Those were my top 10 favorite books ever. Um, a couple ones that I didn't mention that reached my honorable mentions list are Kingdom Keepers by Ridley Pearson, A Court of Thorns and Roses because I just hate Tamlin. Uh, any of the other books in the series that I mentioned are great too. If you liked any of the descriptions I gave or if you'd like more of a description, I'm going to link, um, I'm going to put the links of where you can buy the books in the description below. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you, hopefully I'll be with Sophie next week to see you guys for another video. Woo! Woo! So grateful for my ex. Thank you.